Hi everyone, uh, I'm recording this video to uh, give a big update on news that uh, yesterday morning I picked up a, a new car. Uh, sorry about my haircut because I've done it myself and uh, because all the barber shops and saloons are closed so it may look a little messy but yeah uh, so I'm going to show you the kind of car we, we got and uh, all its features so stay put so guys this is the new 2021 Mazda CX-30 it's Mazda's a subcompact SUV line um, and uh, it's it's a black color it's a all black uh, they call it the black mica and well uh, yeah there is the Mazda logo and this is how it looks from the back so you can see it's a CX-30 uh, all-wheel drive so it's an all-wheel drive system um, not a four-wheel drive it's an all-wheel drive system so the all the four wheels get equal power all the time so this is how it looks from the side and this is it looks from the front uh, the reason we chose this vehicle is because uh, Neha and me totally love this style um, it's very stylish it uh, replicates the Jaguar style uh, of you know aerodynamics and stuff uh, so let's talk about the headlights so the headlights are day, day uh, what do you call that day running lights it's automatic and uh, according to the ambient light it turns on and off um, it's LED white LED lights and it's got an auto it's got a feature where uh, if if a vehicle is approaching you from the opposite side then the high beam automatically turns into a low beam system and uh, they, yeah that's the front wheels uh, come with a disc brake and even the rear wheels come with a disc brake. Uh, the wheel is an alloy. Uh, it's a bigger wheel. Um, I think it's a 17 inch. Yeah, it's a 17 inch alloy. Again, I think the rear lights are LED lights. Uh, it's a twin silencer. Twin silencer. Uh, I'll get to the the powertrain and you know the engine and everything in a bit. Uh, now let me show you. So yeah, so the wiper system is interesting uh, because you see it does not have an air. Uh, sorry, it does not have a water jet on top of the hood. Uh, the water uh, jet is right on top of the wiper so it, it flows water from the water flows from here and it cleans the glass so there is no spillage of water around you know the top of the car or anywhere else uh, also these are motion i mean uh, rain sensing uh, uh, so let's get into the vehicle and uh, see how the interiors look so so the the door sides are extremely well done i really love the way the leatherette is uh, the part of the door panel and all the windows and rear view mirror instrumentation is nicely done very sleek design very attractive so let's get into the dashboard here okay so so this is how the dash looks it's part plastic part uh, leatherette it's got a nice blue color leatherette uh, with stitching on it you can see it here and that's the passenger door 
and the seats are again leather wrapped black color seats um, there is uh, an armrest and a storage which is again nicely done with uh, leatherette over here uh, this is the console which controls most of the infotainment and um, uh, the gear lever is here there's no actually gears it's automatic um, so the car is an automatic transmission uh, there is only the parking and then there is reverse there is neutral and then there is the d which is the drive mode um, right so right now it's in parking it also has two uh, cup holders over here and um, the steering is again nicely uh, uh, leather wrapped okay and um, it has a lot of um, controls on the steering also so there is the volume uh, control uh, there is the track change or change the source of the music there is voice commands that you can talk to the infotainment and get your tasks done there is call uh, receive and hang up there is info which brings in more information um, this is cruise control so you can set uh, if you're on a highway you can set the cruise control here uh, this is interesting because here you can set the distance between the car in the front if uh, you're on a highway and uh, your car is on cruise control you can set the distance between the uh, car ahead of you that is two car distance three car distance so the the car will automatically break when that distance is uh, nearing or the distance is achieved so pretty so it's pretty technology technologically advanced there it's got airbags for the driver it's got airbags for the passenger i think there are airbags for the rear passenger as well uh, in terms of safety uh, this is the infotainment system so let me quickly turn on the vehicle okay so there it is it turns on okay so you have a warning that says don't use the infotainment while you're driving so this is how the infotainment looks this is how the instrumentation looks so the gauges are uh, manual uh, they're not digital analog sorry not manual analog um, yeah so it has all the uh, the speedometer the rpm and the fuel gauges here uh, the, the the kilometers that you can drive uh, in the fuel tank is here uh, right now it's in park so it's sp and other stuff uh, here are the AC vents uh, this is the auto climate control uh, AC so it has two it has dual auto control which means the driver can have a different temperature and the passenger can have a different temperature of AC if required um, and you can set the temperature manually through the knobs this is the start and stop button for the car and uh, what else what else yeah this is the ac vents for the passenger so here's the dash box glove box and okay so guys uh, the car also comes equipped with a memory seat now what that means is uh, the driver's seat can be electronically set through the buttons over here so once you've achieved the kind of uh, setting for the seat that you like you can go ahead and click the set button and press this so it will store the setting of the seat uh, in this option here so uh, it also will sync this setting with the remote of the uh, of the car so whenever I, I unlock the car with my remote, the seat will automatically set according to my needs and my height and I'm good to go. Similarly, in other 
another driver can set his seat settings here so there are two different settings that can be done on the seat so guys another point on the seats so the front seats are heated which means in winter you can turn on uh, this button right here and the seats will start warming up also this model has the steering wheel heated which means uh, you can turn on the steering wheel um, heat option from here and it'll have, be nice and warm during winter time when the car gets really cold uh, parked somewhere outside also guys uh, uh, when I uh, store the seat memory uh, on in these buttons right here uh, they it also syncs the positioning of the rear view mirrors um, according to my needs so I can set the rear view mirror I can set the seat and when I go ahead and set the memory button here it will automatically adjust all of these different um, settings according to my needs so guys uh, the rear view mirror is an auto dimming mirror which means when I start driving the mirror uh, reduces its uh, uh, brightness and you I can see objects clearly in the rear view um, also uh, all the warning systems are shown here if, if uh, any door is ajar or you know something of that sort uh, it, it displays over here and this also comes in with uh, sunglasses uh, storage on top and the light switches are all here this is for the driver this is for the passenger uh, this particular button opens up the moonroof so the car comes in with the moonroof uh, so this lid opens up partially to uh, get some light and then if hold on let me switch on the car and when i when this button is pressed once it partially opens up to let in some air and then if i press press and hold this uh, it opens up fully there it is so it's going to rain so not a good idea to open this up now there you go and then you can close this up another important feature in the car is uh, a, the lane assist uh, that's what I think it's called now what that does is uh, if I'm driving on my lane and on the highway and if I kind of wear off from my lane uh, slightly so the car will uh, read that um, and it will give me a warning uh, through an alarm system that I'm leaving my lane and also the steering wheel will start vibrating uh, so that way it will uh, alert the driver if ever if the driver is feeling sleepy or he's, he's you know um, moving away from his lane uh, by mistake so guys uh, more on the infotainment system uh, okay let me yeah okay um, that's nothing but uh, the car giving me a warning to put on my seat belts so that's okay uh, the infotainment comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay now what that means uh, is I can explain it to you I can't show you because I'm recording the video and the Android Auto will not work uh, if my phone is not connected to the infotainment through a wire. So what that actually means is that when you connect your phone to the infotainment system using the USB ports here, um, you can operate all your phone apps on your infotainment system, uh, be it WhatsApp, be it navigation system, or be it your music. Uh, you can completely control all the things on your phone through this. Now when I say through this, this particular infotainment is not a touch screen, it is uh, only a display uh, and it's consciously done by Mazda to keep the car safe and uh, you know uh, so that the driver does not have to touch the screen while he's driving. So most of the controls are here, every aspect of the infotainment system can be controlled through this particular knob here the home button the music button 
the back button and the navigation button um, the volume is here the volume can be uh, paused or played through here uh, I mean um, controlled uh, this is the handbrake interestingly there is no manual handbrake in this car it's an electronic handbrake uh, when I switch the car to park mode the handbrake comes on automatically I do not have to turn it on however when I want to move the vehicle I switch it to the drive mode uh, using this lever like this and then I press this once which disengages the handbrake for me and when I put this back to park it I need to lift this to turn it back on yeah now it's back on so guys uh, let's take a look at the boot so it's a button open you have to press the button to open the boot so it's, it's got pretty generous space um, a large size suitcase can be easily fitted here along with a couple of small bags so it comes with this um, splitter uh, default by the brand so it can be removed through this which uh, will make it more spacious the seats are foldable uh, I can pull a lever on the top of the seats right there and I can fold both the back seats to make space for a much larger bag uh, ever, if we ever decide to go on a longer trip or have more passengers uh, there it is show you the uh, rear seats so this is even the rear uh, passengers have this nice leatherette um, finish on the door side which looks amazing uh, yeah there's a container for the to keep some stuff here again the back seat is leather wrapped uh, the space is okay it's, uh, the rear passengers also come get a feature to have an AC vent there is a cup holder in the middle if there are just two passengers sitting they can keep their coffee mugs over here overall very nicely finished vehicle very modern very stylish guys let's talk about uh, the power of the vehicle so the vehicle is this vehicle this particular model that I have is the luxury package uh, which comes fitted with a 2.5 liter petrol engine uh, it generates a 186 horsepower so this thing is pretty fast both in the city and the highway um, if I have to work out an average I think I'll be getting close to eight or nine kilometers per liter uh, but that's not a problem here in Canada because the fuel prices are not very um, high or I mean it's the same price but you don't feel the pinch because uh, everything else is so expensive so comparatively the fuel is much cheaper so guys uh, this is how the key fob looks for the car so it's got a lock button and an unlock button and a hold button I don't know what that does I still need to figure out so the manual key is hidden behind this i need to open this latch up to get access to that so yeah pretty stylish here i think it, the overall theme of the brand resembles the mercedes very much guys in terms of safety the car is uh, pretty loaded um, so it comes with uh, uh, something called as a blind spot uh, monitoring system now what that means is um, when a vehicle is overtaking my vehicle either from the left or the right uh, the lights on the rear view mirror there is a small light on the rear view mirror that gets turned on uh, which gives me an indication that there's a vehicle that's overtaking and I should not change lanes during um, that time 